I didn't want to take the truck home the night that we started it. So on March 1st, like promised, during the day, we took the truck for its first drive on the road. Um, it does very well. It was really, really bumpy on our rock road. And once out on the highway, it wasn't too bad unless I hit a pretty major bump. And what the noise was, was actually metal on metal. The cab mounts had completely deteriorated. So we thought about it for a little while and found an old mud flap laying around here. Took one of our Blair hole cutter saw uh, bits and cut out circles, uh, drilled a hole through them for the bolt to go through and put in mud flap, a real thick mud flap spacer as our body mount bushings. And the truck rides like a dream now, even on the rock road. There's no metal on metal, bang, bang, bang anymore. And um, it rides really smooth on the highway. I take it between 50 and 55 miles an hour. Can't really go much more than that. I have figured out the three on the tree shifting very well. Um, my clutch pedal and my brake pedal and my emergency brake pedal all squeaked when I pushed them down or they came up. So we put a little grease on them. We oiled a whole bunch of things and um, it's running very smooth now. It's, it's really a lot of fun to drive. When I got the truck, it wouldn't go into second and third gear. That didn't matter because I didn't know how to drive it anyway, but Fritz put a little uh, golf ball on there so I could figure out how to move this little bitty shifter. The first gear, um, straight to the bottom. You do have to kind of pull it towards you. They say the shift pattern is like an H. So now I push it away from me towards the dash, that second gear. It's a little noisy on the rock road, but it's really smooth out on the road, on the highway. And that's third gear, straight down. It's pretty easy to shift once you get used to it. Um, Everybody thinks if it's on the column that it's an automatic, but it's actually does have a clutch and it is basically a stick shift. I haven't learned exactly how to adjust them yet because the hard part about working on this truck is that I have to usually be in the cab pushing a pedal or moving the shifter. And my dad has been on the outside under the hood, for example, adjusting the shift linkage. But he was the one who put in my shift linkage bushings. And when they came in the mail from Classic Parts, I thought, what are those going to do? But they made a tremendous difference, actually. So if your shifter is shifting stiff or you have a catch in it, apparently it's supposed to be a very smooth transition between gears um, in the shifter handle itself. You can put in these bushings and smooth it out quite a bit. choke is the most fickle, important part of this truck. <laughs> Once we got it ready for the road, um, I had to go in and, of course, put a license plate on it, change the title, but the insurance was the best part. Uh, I called Haggerty Insurance Company, which we have for our other project cars, and uh, they added me to the policy for a mere $30, <laughs> because the truck really isn't, doesn't have a huge high value, and uh, it's not going to be driven very far. But Haggerty is a great company to go to, um, in the case of auto insurance because they know that it's a classic car and you're going to treat it right. You're going to put it in your garage. You're going to make sure that it's safe. And so they work with you a lot better on the cost of insurance than a regular insurance company. I did call the insurance company that covers our daily driver and they wanted over $300 a year. So Haggerty definitely worked with me on that one and uh, I'm glad to be insured but for a whole lot cheaper than I expected. So the truck to me is almost finished. we I drove it for a week and realized it does have a miss in it, um, which we're going to hopefully address today. Um, apparently I have a tight exhaust valve um, and so we're going to try to adjust the valves and do a few other mechanical things to underneath that valve cover and try to fix that. I'm also waiting for a vacuum advance mechanism to come in from Classic Parts because my idle even though we would adjust it, I would drive it shortly and the idle would be different and my truck would continue to die frequently. So I'd get out and adjust the screw and the guys are convinced that um, it's my vacuum advance causing that fluctuation in idle. Um, otherwise, to me, it's done. Um, we have 
replace some parts on the truck, mostly in consideration of safety. The running boards and things like that were purely so that I didn't cut my foot off. Um, the lights and uh, wiper motors and things like that were just to make it safe and easy to drive. Um, we updated the brakes and um, we did a few modifications like the tailgate to make it pretty. But, bo but basically, uh, it's already hauled a rear end to the sandblaster, a load of wood, um, all kinds of things. It's, it's definitely a work truck. It's not going to get a paint job um, and it runs very well. Uh, a lot of the stuff we've done on the truck purely was for safety and definitely a low buck. It worked very well and we got it on the road.